Okay, so let's look at a, a new concept here in, in terms of the base instruction here for our, for our jazz program. When you're looking at changes and you're playing charts that you might get for jazz, there are really two different bass styles that you might have to play. One is a swing style where we play a walking bass, and that's mostly what I've been focusing on so far in these uh, lessons. Um, a walking bass line typically is two half notes per measure or four quarter notes per measure. It's a real straight style and you're really just keeping pulse with the bass. It's a good time to maybe say that, that the bass has really two primary functions in a jazz ensemble. One is to establish the root and the root of the chord and then to maybe play around that root of the chord a little bit. That's why we've been doing so many roots and fifths and maybe just pulling away from fifths a little bit into other uh, steps of a scale. But really, the root of the chord is what's important that the bass plays. Then the other job is to keep time and, um, and to lay down sort of a style foundation for the piece. So when we're playing walking bass, and we've already been doing this quite a bit, I'll stay in the key of B flat, I try to really keep a nice, straight, even half note or quarter note tempo. So half notes. really even. Or if we go to quarter notes, let me pop the drum beat in. So you can hear a swing style drum beat. This is very basic. I'm just using Band in a Box, a, a well-known computer program, to create a swing style drum beat. Just so you can think about that style and hear it in the context of, of playing style. Nice solid quarters and halves. You'll use that in lots and lots of jazz tunes. Now, you won't use it in all jazz tunes. Some jazz tunes have more of a straight eighth note style, sometimes and very frequently marked bossa style or Latin style. It might also be marked rock style, but you feel it a little bit differently when you're playing in a straight eighth note style. And I'd like to show you this. Again, the straight eighth note style is going to focus on root and fifth. But rather than playing straight quarter notes, it'll sound something, this is kind of a basic bossa style, a basic straight eighth style. Now let me play a straight eighth style for you. Now this is actually a bossa nova rhythm. I'll play the straight eighth style for you and I might pop a couple of little chromatic transitions in as well so you can see what I might do if I was playing a bossa rhythm with a drummer. B flat. Again, 
I'm really trying to focus on the root and the fifth of every chord and then just put a little bit of a chromatic transition in where it makes sense. Try this and good luck. Try it in a bunch of keys too. Good luck.